In this short video tutorial, we will be reviewing Form Builder Workflow. Workflows are used to keep business processes on track by ensuring that the right decision makers are automatically brought in. We start by adding an approval stage and adding our approval manager. We can allow the user to choose their own approval manager. We can select specific users or groups, or we can choose supervisor, which will automatically pull out the user's supervisor information from the employee directory. If I choose to select another approval manager at this stage, I now need to select the decision type. We can have just one manager approve the form in this stage before being passed on. We can require them all to approve the form, but in any order. Or we can require them to approve the form in a specific order. We have the option of adding a second approval stage with trigger options, which would require the second approval stage manager to approve the form, but only under certain conditions. For example, in a mileage expense form, we could require the HR approves the form, but only if the claim total exceeds a certain amount. We also have additional options under Advanced Options, including allowing the approval manager to escalate the form to his or her supervisor if they feel it is necessary. When the form has been approved, a notification will automatically be sent to the submitting user. However, we can add notifications at any stage in the approval process, simply by using the drag and drop tool. We can now save our changes. If we click onto the title of the form, it brings us to the front facing part of the form where we can fill out our claim. When we submit the form, we can check the status of our approval and we can view our approval history to see at which stage the approval is pending. As a super admin, I have the rights to impersonate a user. Let's impersonate Marlene Garza, as we have selected her as an approval manager for this form. If I go to Form Builder, I see that I have items pending for my approval. If I click onto the form, I have the options to approve, decline, or reject the form. If I decline the form, I can enter in my reasons for doing so, and then the form goes back to the submitting user who can make changes and resubmit the form. For more information, please visit our website at intranetconnections.com where you can request a 30-day trial evaluation, download the white papers, view further videos, and attend a live webinar to learn more on how you can harness the power of your internet and build on its success.